Hi friends, I'm Abby and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and I'm going to be talking you through my puzzle collection, my jigsaw puzzles. So I am in my normal filming location because the books really do provide the best backdrop. But today we're not going to be talking about books, we're going to be talking about jigsaw puzzles. If you don't know, I love a jigsaw puzzle. I've been doing jigsaw puzzles since I was a since I was young. For many, many years, I've been a jigsaw puzzle enthusiast. And I'd say probably in the last few years, I've really got back into it. Maybe there was a little gap. Probably not really. But I do love a jigsaw puzzle. I find them very therapeutic. I can listen to an audiobook. So it does combine two hobbies that I really like because I can combine reading and jigsaw puzzles. And I find them just a very, yeah, a very, very therapeutic task. I find them very satisfying to do. I mean, I've heard that they're very good for your brain as well. So I'm sure I'm, give, I'm, I'm training my brain at the same time. Most of the puzzles I do, I say are around 1000 pieces. The maximum one I've done is 6,000 pieces. And that took like a whole summer. 1000 to 2000 is pretty much where I range. So I'm just gonna show you the collection that I have here in London. Uh, there are definitely some puzzles that I have back at my parents. Uh, and we do every now and again, like trade in puzzles. So I, offload some there and then bring some back but today we'll just show what's here and maybe I'll talk through a couple of like comments on each of them. I will start off by showing you the locations where I store my puzzles and I'm sort of running out of space both for my books and for my puzzles and the puzzles don't do the puzzles definitely do not have the same pride of place that the books have they get very much in put into a cupboard and hidden away so let's just go from there. Okay, so let's start off in here. So next to these bookcases, we have our TV unit and uh, cupboards, drawers, whatever they are, below the TV unit. And in these, we have some puzzles. We also have some puzzles beneath them. And there is a puzzle currently on the floor that I'm working on. Uh, this one's a 3000 piece one, which is why it's not on the kitchen table, because it is slightly too big. Right, let's flip you around. Okay, so we have the one on the floor. I'll talk through it in a bit. We have ones underneath here. We have a couple over here and we have a drawer here. So I'm gonna pull all of these ones out and then I'll show you another location where I keep them. Okay, we have now changed locations. We are now in the bedroom and I also have some puzzles in here. So we have in the wardrobe, some white sort of flat pack boxes. And this is where I need to put my non-existent muscles into some use. And this may be the struggle because I don't know how well I'm gonna do at getting this puzzle box down um, because I struggle with the duvets. So this is what we're looking at. Top one is the duvets and towels, which it comes down pretty regularly. This bottom one here has jigsaw puzzles in it. And this is gonna be the struggle. That actually went better than anticipated. Turns out it wasn't that much heavier or was maybe it was even lighter than the duvets and the petals. So I feel like that was much more successful than I, than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, we're back here. So I can now show you all of the puzzles. And the great thing about doing this video is it means I can swap out the ones that I've had more easily to hand and trade out for some of that have been stuck in the cupboard for a long time. Where to start? I think I'm gonna start where it all began. Quite a few of the puzzles I have here are ones that I bought, you know, recently in my adulthood. But I do have th th my first ever 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle here that I did bring over from my parents at some point or other. And this is just, it was my first, it's, it's still one of my favourites, I think. I remember getting it when I was a young child and doing it with my parents and doing it. I've done this jigsaw puzzle, I don't know how many times. I have done this so much. I'm one of those people that does a jigsaw puzzle, scrunches it all up, puts it back in the box, because you can do a jigsaw puzzle many, many times and it's always still enjoyable. You don't need to just do it once and then never do it again. It is, you get so many, so many hours of entertainment out of a jigsaw puzzle. So this one, it was the first and it's still a favorite, a favorite of all time. It's the Disney princesses one from when I was, I don't even know how old this is now. Um, but you can see the box is falling apart. It's got some very old tape on it. I expect this is from the 90s. I loved this growing up. Okay, I will now chat through the rest of my 1000 piece puzzles and work my way up in terms of puzzle count as we go through the video. No longer in like order of age, just in order of puzzle count, puzzle piece count. So I have this 
Ravensburger, thousand piece one with Disney Pixar. I think it's not like the most interesting of designs, but it was very cheap. I think I found this one in the works. It's fine to do, it's fine to do. Not the most exciting, but fine. I have the world of Jane Austen, but there's quite a few of these in this design. They now have like the world of Dracula, the world of Charles Dickens. There's a whole series of these and I have just got the Jane Austen one, but it does seem like quite a fun series and I found that the quality of the puzzle piece in this was really good. I have Waterloo Station. Uh, not one of my favourite stations in London, but Waterloo Station through the ages from 1848 to 1948. And this was a gift from my parents last year for my birthday. I have Beautiful Britain. Uh, I don't feel as though this gives an accurate representation of the puzzle. Oh, there's a picture. Oh, there we go. So it's just got Britain, the landmarks of Britain. I really do like these puzzles. I think you'll notice a theme that I like maps and locations on a puzzle because I've got quite a few of them. So this is just the first of many. I have Gustav Klimt puzzle uh, of this artwork. Uh, this was again a gift. This one I have struggled with. Oh, this one was such a struggle of a puzzle because all of this area is so hard to do. Like the colours, it's just, I think the first time I tried to do it, I gave up because I just was, I can't, I just couldn't get my way through this bit, all the skin. I got through it, all the rest of it, but I succeeded the second time. I succeeded the second time, but it's a challenge. I have one of the Moomings. Uh, again, I don't think this shows the full image, so I'll put that there. Uh, and this one's just really cute, you know, very, very cute. Uh, I mean, the Moomings are cute in and of themselves. Slightly festive, I have a, Christmassy scene at the circus. Uh, circus at Christmas. I have this one of like a library type setting. This one I had some issues with. Like it's a really like well-made box with like oh, a pull-out bit here to get to it. And it's in a, like a nice purple bag. And the puzzle pieces are really thick and they weirdly have like sections like they all have different letters on them but i don't find that the puzzle pieces are unique enough especially for like some of the darker bits of it that without these letters you could hardly put it together so it's a bit of a weird one and uh, yes and i also have quite a few of like library settings i guess you know i like books so i've got to have lots of puzzles of books uh books and geography it seems to be that i have not much to say it's a library i have is it 1,000 pieces? Is it 2,000 pieces? Uh, this, which is a set of two 1,000 piece puzzles, uh, sort of in a fantasy-esque style, you know me, fantasy reader. Well, if you don't know me, I'm a fantasy reader and I was channeling that, I guess, when I bought these puzzles. So we have a unicorn turning into different butterflies and then we also have like a dragon scene with a fantasy castle. That's these two, uh, they did come in separate bags, thankfully. I have thought about like mixing them up together and trying to do them both at the same time. And I have thought that would be quite fun, but I haven't done it yet. I have Night Reef by Eleanor Essex, which is a gradient style puzzle. I do have a couple of gradients as well. I do like a gradient. So that's where you go from one color into another color, into another color. Um, and all of your like, one colours are on one side, all the others are on another. And I find these are very, very therapeutic to do in terms of finding the colours. And is it, you do a lot of sorting to begin with, but then once you've sorted everything, it's very that fun to put it together. And this one is especially fun with all of the sea creatures on it. Speaking of sea creatures, coincidentally, uh, the next one I have is like an underwater world and an underwater scene. This one. I have as well found to be very fun to put together. It's from a brand I haven't had before which is called Ibu and I got this one recently in January and I really liked it because there's so many different colours and you can sort of put all like the you can pick out like all of the pinks all of the blues all of the yellows and then put it all together it's very fun. Uh, now I'm going to skip over the final 1000 piece and go to the 1500 there is logic in this. So the 1500 is the Grand Library again one that I got for Christmas and I showed this off in my last reading we weekend reading vlog um i showed this one off i this one i have found to be a lot of fun i've now done it twice and i only got it recently and i have had a lot of fun with this one it is 
very enjoyable to do. Again, a library. And I think there is, I have another library puzzle somewhere, not here, it must be back at my parents, but it's another library puzzle. Going back to the gradient, so that one was 1500, and it's the only 1500 one that I have. But going back to the gradients, because this does make sense, I have the 1000 piece gradient puzzle by Cladbury's. And I also have the 2000 piece. So this moves us into the next section, which is which is 2000 pieces. So I have both of these. Oh, so it is the same picture. It is just doubled in size on the 2000 piece. So I started with the 1000 piece, really, really enjoyed this one. So I wanted to make the challenge even harder by doing the 2000 piece. You can't tell, I have really enjoyed doing this. I have enjoyed the gradient. At first, I thought it was gonna be really hard, but actually they're very, very fun and therapeutic to put together. So would recommend if you have never tried one, I would give it a try, give it a try. Um, but yeah, I've got, got that in both 1000 and 2000 pieces. Another 2000 piece one. So this one comes in a very weird shape. I don't know why it's in this shape. It's a bit annoying because I like a puzzle in its square box and that is the most practical puzzle size. But this one comes in a like cube. I mean, it's a very fun puzzle. I have really enjoyed doing this, but it's a very impractical box. But this one is a really nice 2000 piece puzzle of a Bavarian castle and grounds. Uh, there we go, there it is. A really fun to do. I've had a lot of fun with this one. Back to Disney, so back to my roots, my very, my, the beginnings, my childhood, the Disney. I have a 2000 piece Disney puzzle. There is like this, like 24,000 piece Disney puzzle, which does look amazing, but it, I think it's a bit above my level. Like I do like a jigsaw puzzle, but that one just looks um, insane. But this is the 2000 piece Disney one. A lot of fun, lots of different like images in here, done it a couple of times, all the different like Disney scenes. It's not like I'm a massive Disney person, but I like Disney in a puzzle. I do, I do. I said there was geography, I said there was worlds. Here's a geography one. Map of the world, quite obviously, with the locations on it and different landmarks from around the world, different bits and bobs to see. Overall, another really fun, enjoyable puzzle to do. So uh, do love it. Continuing with geography, this one's a bit different. It's again, a map of the world, but this one more of the map style and less of the, like the locations there. But then yeah, it does have the things around the outside and the map in the, in the middle. My boyfriend actually got really into doing this one. He never does jigsaw puzzles with me, but he liked this one, I think because he was like building up the map. And then my final 2000 piece puzzle is Paris. Well, the Eiffel Tower in different times of day. So we have the daytime, we have the nighttime. Unfortunately, this one's missing a couple of pieces. It arrived missing a couple of pieces. So the first time I did it, I was like, said to my boyfriend, have you stole, have you taken a piece? Have you like hidden a piece? And he was like, why would you accuse me of that? And I was like, this would be something that you would do. You would take like a final piece and hide it from me. Anyway, the piece is still missing. I assume that it wasn't him. It was the puzzle in and of itself. Despite the couple of pieces that are missing, it was still very enjoyable to put together. So that's my final 2000 piece puzzle. Now we're getting into some big ones. I have one 3000 piece puzzle, which is the one that I'm currently doing. This one again, I've had for a little while and actually it probably needs me to put some tape on it because it is, the box is starting to fall apart. And this is the one that I am currently working on and revisiting. This is the Educa Life puzzle in the 3000 piece version. So I do know that they have like a 24,000 piece version of this, like this exact puzzle but 24,000 pieces. I feel like that would be quite fun to do, to have them both together, like a 3,000 piece version and a 24,000 piece version. But 24,000 pieces is a lot, and that is, I think, a little bit beyond me. Uh, so I will stick with this version, which is a lot in and of itself. 3,000 pieces is a lot. I can't do it on the kitchen table anymore. It go, has to be on, done on the floor. That is that, but it is really, really enjoyable. I have had this for a few years. I do remember when I got it from my parents and I do really enjoy doing this, especially with like, I feel like there's so many different sections with the hot air balloons, with the boats, with the animals, like very fun to do. And now we're getting into my pride and joy. The one that my, my biggest accomplishment to date, I'm just going to go get it because it's on the other side of the room currently. Here it is in all its glory, my biggest puzzle. I have done the 6,000 piece. I don't even know what this one, this one is Educa again. Entering the bedroom, intriguing. Uh, so this is entering the bedroom, 6,000 pieces. This one again, I had to do on the floor. This one took me ages to do. It was 
a journey doing this puzzle. Was it summer of 2020 or maybe summer of 2021? But it took me a long, long time and it was a massive accomplishment when I finished it. I was so proud of myself because this took me so, so long. Uh, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was challenging. And I, and I did it. I haven't done it since. Maybe I will one day. Maybe I will one day. It's like, you know, when you read a gigantic book like Oathbringer, you need a bit of time to recover. And I've been recovering from this by doing 1000 piece puzzles, which are much more manageable and don't take over the whole room. It is the biggest one that I currently own. So there we go. There are all of the puzzles that I currently own in this apartment. When I see them all stacked like this, it feels like I have a lot. And I don't even know how I've managed to fit them all in. Especially like you can see how how stuffed my books are. Like where did I fit all of these puzzles into this apartment? The joys of that white box that goes in the cupboard that fits a lot of them in. I think we will leave it there for today. Let me know if you enjoy doing jigsaw puzzles, if this has maybe inspired you to go do a jigsaw puzzle. I will try and link the puzzles that I have down below. Uh, some of them are quite old, so I'll see what I can find. Uh, but I will try and link them if you're interested in doing any of these. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my future videos. Bye.